Hello, welcome to the Open Blocks Mod Spotlight. Here's the flag. So the flag, we can rotate it. Goes around. Uh, we can also do the same thing with a fan. You can see that's going to go around. Now if we provide that with a redstone signal, we'll actually turn the fan on. As you can see. And what the fan can do is it can push mobs. Uh, specifically of interest is it can push endermen. So if you wanted to get the endermen to go in a certain direction, you could achieve that goal. Now we have the drawing table. So the drawing table requires, it, you, you've got two different modes, you've got stencils or glyphs. So you need to get these things, the unprepared stencils, and you can see you've got various different options. So let's take uh, some of these guys, and I'll show you what you can do with them in a moment. Um, the other option though is to use, uh, use glyphs, and then we could do this. So what I'm going to do is I'll put down this luggage, and we'll show both of this functionality. So if I put in, so if I put in the name, wired for instance, and it will print out all the various letters, and we can put them in the luggage. And this is just a moving chest, like a hungry chest or something like that. If we look at the paint mixer first, the paint mixer runs with C Y M K colors, so cyan, yellow, magenta key I believe that stands for and you also need to have a bucket of milk and what you can do is you can then select whichever color you want so if we go for instance this uh, turquoise color in case of mix it will create the color and then what you need to have is this canvas so you can make the canvas any size and this will let you paint uh, so you can see once this finishes we get a paint can with that color so we can put the paint can down, we get a paint brush, and then we can begin, we can paint each face. We want to remove, we can use the squeegee and remove. If we have our stencil, so you can see we can put it on in various different ways. And we can use, if, if we just look at the paint can, you see we can rotate it first of all. And you can see we can also paint the stencil as well. And you can see the paintbrush can actually paint any block at all. But the side will only be one face. If we take a glyph, put that on. Doesn't paint the glyph there. Here we have the block breaker and the block placer. You can see we can place blocks like that. And they require redstone signals. Uh, if you want to rotate, we use the big metal bar. So if I was going to place the item dropper here, I could rotate it if I wanted to go a different way. So it works slightly differently. This one, it will go directly to whichever face you point. On here, it will go to the opposite face. Also, some nicer UI here for the item dropper. You can have the speed and uh, scale by redstone signal strength. So here we have the uh, the big button. So what this will do is it will create a delayed redstone signal. So you can go pretty high with this. So let's have a look just how high we can go. So in total we can go all the way up to 25 second delay. So yeah, so it's going to stay on for quite a long time. Here we have the uh, tank. So you can have a multi-block tank, single block. Each one will be 16 blocks and you can increase the size of it however you see fit. Once you break it, it will tell you the percentage and how much is in there. Okay, so say we've got a water tank there, we can put a sprinkler on top, and it automatically feeds in, and it's going to hydrate the land automatically. So you can see, essentially, it will bone mill the land and increase crop growth as well. Okay, so here we've got the vacuum hopper. So I place the vacuum hopper down. What we want to do is we want to, on the left-hand side, Set the output there. 
on the back. Set the output there. So you can see we've got items going into the chest and we have XP going into the tank. So you can see, like so. Okay, so you can see we can see we've got a tank. We've also got the auto enchantment table. The way to function, make this function is we we move this to to there. Make sure we select it and then we press auto drink. And then we'll be able to get the XP from the adjacent tank. So for instance, if I wanted to do so, you can adjust the limit here. I've put a few bookshelves around. You can see it says available power nine, which is the amount of bookshelves we got. And it's just going to do a enchantment. You can also do one, two, or three, similar to a normal enchantment table. Anvil works in a similar kind of way. We're going to wear a drink. And then if we wanted to do, say, sword with a book, same sort of thing. A couple of items, we've got the XP shower, so this will just shower, and here we have an XP drain, so this will accumulate all the XP. Here we have the XP bottler, and this is going to create bottles of enchanting. So every time a mob dies, it, it may drop a trophy, and you can get it for a large number of different mobs. So let's look at them all. There's Wolf. Chicken, sometimes you'll get eggs. Cow, sometimes you get leather. Creeper, creates explosion particles. Arrows fly, when you have a skeleton. Gold nuggets from zombie pigmen. Not much from the bat. Oh, yeah, bat sounds. Zombie sounds. Uh, blindness 2 from the witch and the uh, villagers has villager sounds uh, ocelot sounds sheep sounds any I think that maybe they give it some occasionally you will get a drop maybe I'll miss some get a sound fire with their uh, blaze silverfish sounds spider sounds That was Poison 4, by the way. Um, you can see I'm about to be teleported. Nothing from a uh, magma cube. Placing a source block for squid. Of water. So you saw you didn't have any water. And you couldn't, if, you didn't have, if you didn't have any buckets, you could actually get one. Like that. Mushroom. Nothing from Iron Golem. Snow Golem places blocks. Pork chop from pig. Uh, Endermite noises. So the Guardian. Give you the effect. Rabbits give you carrots. Fish from polar bears. Levitation 2 for about four sec five, 4 or 5 seconds from the Shulkers. Uh, wheat from horse, bone from skelly horse, rum flesh from zombie horse, uh, more wheat from donkey, more wheat from mule, spitting animation from llama, elder guardian effect, wither skeleton skulls from the wither skeleton one. So this is a really good trophy to have this. Same as the skeleton, that one. That's for the stray. Husks get feathers. Zombie villager. Evoker, we get the uh, Tome of Undying. Not much from Vex. And then the Vindicator gets you Iron Axe. Okay, let's place this rotating elevator down. And we're going to place it down right here. So you can see I've got a rotating elevator directly above it. What we're going to do is we're going to approach the elevator. And we're going to go up. And you can see now I'm facing in the opposite direction to the direction which I entered. And this is because the rotating elevator, this is also the normal elevator, but this will face the player towards the direction which the block was placed initially. So we've got some boots here. And we've got some gunpowder in our inventory. 
So let's have a look what happens when we drop from ab above five blocks. And this is the effect of the unstable enchantment. So you can see it's using up compound in the inventory. So we have, so here we have the enhanced building guide. There's also a regular building guide, but the enhanced one is better because it lets you place blocks. So what you can do is on the top, you can see you can choose between various different things. We've got cylinder, cuboid, full cuboid, dome, triangle. I quite like the triangle one. What we're going to do is we're going to increase the size. Then once we get give it a redstone signal, it's going to visualize the shape. And if we want to change the color of those blocks, say to purple, we can do so. Now if we want to actually place the blocks, put an obsidian block on top, and let's make it out of stone. And there you go. Here we have the sonic glasses. So this will create a sort of effect where you can see things that happen in the world. So you can see there's all the water source blocks. You can see my movement of the boots. You can see the, uh, the animals have got little hearts on them. We also have the block placing sound. And we're going to go... So you can see it does tell you it's a different block. You can see we saw a smashing button. There's lots of different types of thing to look at. Be very useful, I imagine, also if you're deaf to get for a visual cue of how to see these things. So here we have the sky blocks. So what we can do is this is a regular sky block and it will actually change the color of the sky. We also have the inverted one, which is like uh, like this. And this is very good if you have an underground base. Uh, I pr the inverted ones are the ones you want to use, really, because what you do is you would just seal it in, and then you could have a base where you could see the sky, but you could be 50 blocks underground. Okay, if we use this pointer, what we can do is we can choose where we want to point this cannon. And you can see, we can see there's the cannon, the iron cannon. Now you want to make sure the cannon, the chest doesn't get in the way. And then if we put some blocks in here, it's actually going to shoot those blocks directly along the line. You can see them going. Okay, so here we've got the crane backpack and we've got the crane control in hand. So you can see, if I press shift, right click, it will go down. And then we right click, it will go back up. So we take this block. So we're going to move this somewhere else. So say we wanted to place it down here. We also have this block, the Jaded Ladder, named after Jaded Cat, of course. So it's a trapdoor, but also a ladder. So that's pretty fun. Uh, and it's in a similar vein, we also have scaffolding as well. Not really a ladder, though. This is really scaffolding, what it actually is. So you can't use it as a ladder, but it will, and, it, and you can even do things like this, which normally you can't do with scaffolding. But the, uh, the one thing it will do, it will disintegrate after a short period of time. Okay, so here we have the golden egg. So what this does is it creates a player, and it's able to destroy torches and also flowers as well. So we can place some torches down. obviously it removes blocks from the ground using probably a similar thing to the crane there so once it's complete you can see you get this m and you can see it's, it's essentially it, whoever placed the egg it will it will create a similar thing and this will work with flowers as well as torches and we also have this which is the sponge you'll notice there's two things called the sponge I found that this tool is really good. It clears a three by three area of water. I haven't got a huge amount of water here, but essentially it's like a smaller sponge and you just need a slime ball and a piece of wall to, do, to use it. So say we have a piece of scaffolding, what we could do is we could place a ladder there and you can see it's gonna place it all the way down the scaffolding. Um, we can also do this. And we can go up an invisible ladder. If you see the other way around, you can't. 
So just to clarify, if you wanted to clear with the sponge, you could say put this sponge there and you can see it's going to clear it very, very cleanly. It's actually quicker though to use this tool though. So here we've got the hang glider. It makes a kind of odd noise. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. But you can press shift and we can get a decent speed with it. Get some decent control as well. Okay, we've got the magic pencil here. So you can see you can do various different placement modes with the magic pencil. So say we do a placement of a block. What we're going to do is make sure we've got our pencil glasses on. And you can see we can see this block visualized. But without the pencil glasses, we can't. There's also a few blocks which are more for admin usage, like, such as the amazing Technicolor glasses, uh, these glasses as well. And these will help you to see blocks regardless of what state they're in. So for instance, here we've got some inverted ones. So sometimes for an inverted block, you can see it when you're not wearing glasses. So if you wanted to do, so you can say we're not wearing glasses, but this block is still visible, right? Similarly for the magic crayon. The magic crayon is a lot easier to see actually. It's probably the one I would choose. Here we have a bear trap. So we place the bear trap, it'll open it up. And you see immediately when a mob walks over it, it's unable to move. Okay, so you see with the golden eye, I just clicked it and it said not locked onto any structure. But now it says locked onto nearest village. So depending on what structures are around, this will tell me the location. It works like an ender eye for any point of interest. Okay, so here we have the target block. Give it redstone signal and it'll be able to run properly. So what we could do is if we shoot in the center, we're going to get about 12. If we shoot over here, you can see a much weaker signal. If we want to remove the arrows, we can do that. Here we have the healer block. So you can see this is going to give regeneration and also give saturation. Creative only mod. Okay, we have the donation station here. So this will tell you which mod the item is from. So we also have the sleeping bag and you can see you can put it in the chest slot and it will actually give you a visual indicator of the sleep which is kind of a unique. You can also sleep on the ground as usual. Here we have the dev null. So what we can do with the dev null is we can open it up and we can put in say 64 stone. What this means is if we drop some stone on the floor it will be voided. Um, however, if we drop this amount on the floor, so it's got half a stack at the moment, it will fill the stack back to 64. Open blocks also adds a grave, so it will should give you your username. And if you right click with the shovel and it just gets all the items out and the grave will remain there. A few more miscellaneous items. We've got Tasty Clay. This is a pun which is well known in the community. Also have a pedometer. And this is this is another sort of feature. We've got the tracking stuff. So we can travel a certain distance. Uh, we can reset the tracking. Let's just do that again. So you can see we traveled a certain distance, 15 meters distance, straight line speed. Don't really have any ticks and stuff. Also have this nice block, the path block. It has a, a few different variants. Quite a few actually. It may be the whole thing is very variable. I haven't looked. It's quite an interesting looking block though. It does look like it's quite irregular. So it does give a more authentic look. So here we've got the village highlighter. This is used to tell you where the golems are going to spawn. And this shows you the whole area of the village. So this box is the places where the the golems can spawn. These dots on the side show you the border to the village. So if you wanted to place a house over here, for instance, you could. And if you and if you wanted to provide the maximum area for the golems to spawn, it would be within this area. So the only things left really are things that I didn't quite understand how to use properly. I believe that the Epic Eraser somehow removes the lore from enchanted items. 
The cursor, one of these was used with the item can cannon. I would have already done it. The other one I couldn't use properly. I found these a little bit awkward to use. And then we have the cartographer. Oh, wow, well, you can see the village much more clearly like that, actually. I didn't realize it was like a dome like that. So the cartographer, you place down a cartographer and it follows you around. Then you have an empty map. And then you want, essentially you want to put it into this thing. And as you move around, it will it will scale to that. And then you need a, a a height map projector. And then you put it in. But you have to retrieve it from the here first. Like I said, I couldn't really get this to work too well. Um, it does project what you can see. I may look into this another time. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. So thanks for watching.